Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video we are discussing about an important topic. Here you can see I am inside Google Webmasters which is now called Search Console and inside Search Console we have Page Indexing. Inside Page Indexing we have Prold but currently not indexed error and we don't want such errors to appear. So right now you can see 77 affected pages. So we can get rid of these. If you have AMP installed on your website, you will see URLs like this. These URLs won't be fixed because if you click on them and you will see this will redirect to the main page. We have AMP installed to make the website lighter. When someone searches on mobile and lands on this page, they will see this version. But if they are on desktop, this will redirect to the parent page which is the actual website not AMP okay so here's what you can do just go to the feed URLs the ones that you can easily get rid of here you can see this is the URL that we can get rid of we don't want such URL to be appearing inside the crawl but not index here you can see if you click on it this is the content inside nobody wants to read it that's why google won't index it what we can do is we can redirect this page to the main page this is the main page this is the main page and for this this is the feed page and we don't want feed pages for any of the pages on our website for this we can add manual code or add a plugin to our website so we will be using both the methods one by one so first of all let's start with the plugin go to your website here's my clean website i'll be creating another video if you want to have your dashboard like looking like this so let's go to plugins we need to install one plugin and click on add new when you click on add new here you need to search disable everything here is that plugin just click on install now now after installation click on activate once it is activated go to the plugin settings by scrolling down here is that plugin click on settings now again scroll down and here you can see multiple options if you check these boxes you will be able to disable all these things so just need to check this and scroll down and click on save setting save changes once you have saved changes make sure you purge all the cache you have if you are using cache cache manager i am using cache manager here you can see i'm going to purge all so that whatever changes we have made are reflected on the front page so this was the page let's go ahead and copy this and uh, open the in incognito mode of chrome and see if it redirects you can see it is now redirecting to the page instead not to the feed url so we have finally gotten rid of the feed urls that are created and are then not indexed in page indexing so we have successfully gotten rid of this now the second method if you don't want to create add another plugin on your website to website then you can use this manual code we have created for our customers for our clients you can also use the same i'll be providing that in description box you can go through the description box and use it but before that make sure you don't have the plugin that we just installed installed on your wordpress so for that just go to plugins once more and deactivate the disable everything so we have deactivated it now let's go to the manual part for this what you have to do is you need to install add one code in function.php file of your wordpress theme so for that you need to go to the hosting panel of your website i'm using Hostinger and I always recommend it to my subscribers if I go to the main page here you can see right now it is 2.99 per month 
plus free domain free website migration there are several plans the one plan which i'm using is business plan it enables me to add multiple websites and have unlimited free ssl unlimited bandwidth and whatnot it is pretty good plan for me i'm able to get the benefits out of it so you can always look at this plan if you want to get web hosting here you can see it is 3.99 if you go for 48 months if you don't want to go for 48 months you can always choose these options but let's go ahead with the 48 months here you can see free domain for first year now scroll down and here is the total now just go ahead and add one coupon code that i have with the hostinger because they have partnership with us top it guy just apply it and you will see this changing the total here you can see the total has changed and you are getting additional discount so I recommend you click on the link I provide you through description box and apply this coupon code and then get the hosting now let's get back to the video so here I am inside file manager inside our edge panel of hostinger here's my website now click on file manager by clicking on file manager I'll be able to access the file which I have to change or where I have to add the code here you can click on public underscore HTML and inside that you will see WP content click on it there is a subfolder called themes click on it then these are the themes that are installed on my website currently but the theme which I'm using right now is extra if I go back to my website I can show you the theme I'm using right now so here you can see these are the themes this is the theme which I'm using it says extra active so this is the one which is active so let's go back and now go inside extra and you need to find function.php file here this is the file first of all go ahead and download this file so that if, if you make some mistakes your functionality of the website is not hampered you can go ahead and replace it here so I have downloaded the file here you can see now let's click on this uh, right click and click on edit the best part about hostinger is you are able to edit or add codes to the website right inside the hosting panel you don't have to separately download it and then open in notepad to add the functionality so go all the way down here hit enter and here you need to add the code which i will provide you through description box so make sure you go ahead and check it out so this is my code i'll be providing you that in the description box so just copy it and go back and paste here okay now hit save we have manually added the code here so let's go back once more to our website and get rid of the cache memory if any generated let's reload it for the first and now click on purge all okay we have purged everything now the code must have uh, propagated we can easily see the feed urls redirecting to the page instead let's see one more here you can see feed and click on here see it is now going back to the main page and not landing on the page where all the codes are listed which is obviously not ranked by google because they don't want people to have bad experience with their search results so now the feed urls from your current crawled currently not indexed page will disappear soon for this you need to click on valid fix once you click on valid fix google will be notified that you have made the changes and it will soon start removing the feed urls from crawled currently not indexed so this is how you can get rid of feed urls in 
message inside Google Search Console. Let me know if you have any questions and don't forget to join Hostinger if you don't have hosting and use my coupon code top IT guy. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe to my channel so that I can keep on creating videos like this. Thank you.